Hey, what's up guys? It's the Mark here, and I'm making this short video just to tell you guys what's going to go down. Basically, as of late, I, I'm getting close to my um, university assignment deadline, so I need to put a lot of time into these because, you know, I want to make it to second year of university. So, because I want to do that, it's going to take quite a bit of work. So I need to sort of up my work, up my work time, up my work to make my work better, which means it's less work on the stadium. Because it's less work on the stadium, it's less work that I can produce on the stadium per week, which then it's going to take a lot longer to the stadium. I've attempted this before, but I've never stuck with it because I really do not like building with it. But if you remember with Wembley, I, did, I think it was the start of Wembley, I can't remember, I decided to use MC Edit. If you don't know what MC Edit is, it's similar to World Edit, so I can sort of build the whole line instead of having to go all the way down and go do do do. I can copy and paste stuff, all this sort of stuff. I'm considering using that to, um, to attempt to build Twickenham. Um, this is not a solid yes, I'm doing this, because I really don't like using it, because you get a lot more detail detail in um, placing actual blocks myself plus I get this perspective of seeing it in first person instead of using a uh, and instead of using what you call it MC edit because I'm not exactly going to zoom into where I want to place one block of MC edit because that would just be ridiculous and stupid but guys I'm considering using it if I do use it I will let you guys know because you know I'm, I'm not used to using it to build stadiums I, lo I prefer building stadiums with hand I feel I get more out of it and I'm like, God, that was worth the time in the end because the stadiums usually look pretty nice at the end of it, even though it does take a lot longer with using, uh, doing it by hand, as we all know, because I've been doing this for two years now, guys. Two years. It is the 18th today. It was like three days ago or something that I uploaded my first uh, video, which was on... 2011, something like March 15, 2011, which was Old Trafford Part 1. So yeah, that was a great thing. And it's been two years, we're almost we're almost hitting 2,100 subs, which is awesome. But guys, um, I will consider streaming Wednesday. I'll let you guys know with a video if I'm going to be streaming the stadium on there, so you'll get a sneak peek of where I'm up to. If you want to come and chill, watch out, listen to some music, I'll answer questions, stuff like that. But I'm going to end it here, guys. Also, uh, the game you see in the background... This, this is called A Walk in the Dark. It's an indie game. It's uh, currently on Steam Greenlight, trying to get on Steam. It's a, it's a beautiful game. The soundtrack is really soothing. The fact is, though, it's simple until you get into it, and then it starts to be a real rage machine, or at least it does for me. But, guys, this game, uh, I, per I bought, bought it for about four or five pounds, and because it's not on Steam, you get the whole file in a RAR. So I thought... If you guys actually want this game, um, I've paid for it, and I've been distributing it about to my mates. Oh, he knows when there. I was giving it away on Facebook to people if they wanted it, so yeah, I thought I'd uh, give you guys a chance. It's, if you want this free game, all you got to do is, uh, I'll, put a media fire, uh, I'll put a media fire file in the description. Literally, all you do is load it up, and there'll be an install file. Click it, boom, game loads, play it. It's got a hundred levels. I go into it a little bit. It's a, it's a, it's a really good game. The music sort of soothes your rage and keeps it in. But guys, I would say suggest checking this game out and try and get it on Steam because it deserves it. It's a good game. It's it's it gets the rage out of you. You want to put your fist through your screen sometimes, but no, you don't. You not you shouldn't do that. <laughs> but guys, I will put a link in the description if you want to download that game. I love it. It's just annoying. <laughs> but guys, um, so yeah, I'll be streaming sometime this week. And the main thing here, free game if you want to download it in the description. Uh, I'm considering using MC Edit on the stadium of Twickenham to speed the process up and get more done weekly. So that I can get more out to you guys and try and finish this stadium since I'm uh, busy with Universa. And I'm going to end it here guys. And I'll see you until when I upload a new video. Bye.